my husband. Stay away from him, else I will give you a cold acid bath and nothing will happen. I will make you look like an accident because your life is worth nothing. Look at this useless prostitute. Stay away from my husband. I will not be this nice next time, oh. You can't do this to me. You can't leave me now. You're everything. You are my life. You, I can't do without you. Please. Oga, you don't understand me. Your wife threatened to pour acid on me. I'm too young for all this. Please, you have to go. <sighs> Irene, Irene threatened you too. Uh, uh, Irene can't do such thing. I'll kill her. She can't try such stupid thing with you. Oh. After she must have baited me with acid or when, you should have killed her before coming. Okay, so what are you trying to say in essence that you just want to throw away everything we had into the trash just because of a mere threat from a woman like you? There's nothing like a mere threat coming from a woman who is losing her husband. Be truthful to me. If she eventually pours that acid on my face and I look ugly at the end of the day, will you stick around? Would you? I thought as much. You know what, just leave me alone. Let's, let's just end this. Because if I lose my face, nothing in this world will make sense to me anymore. So I just think we part ways. You're not going to lose your face. I am. Uh, please, I'm done. I'm I'll done. protect you. I am done. Oga, leave. I said leave now. Leave. Mama, hurry up. Tammy, Tammy, how could you? How could you, Tammy? What's going on? Look. 
Tammy has been taking contraceptive. She doesn't want to get pregnant. Who told you? Remember the day you sent me to get your passport? I searched through your closet. I was shocked when I saw the drugs. I thought you guys were on family planning. Then I noticed something, something strange. You disguised everything. At that point, I knew what you were up to. I ran out. I ran out to get some pain relief that looked almost like your medicines. I flushed them and replaced them all. I'm sure you didn't try to check because you never thought it was possible for anyone to find out. Tammy, I think you went too far. If you did not want to have children, why did you get married? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You were all married. And Jane, my twin, was married too. And what does that have to do with us? Tammy, we prayed, we fasted, we even cried when your mother-in-law was embarrassing you with childlessness. Little did we know that you didn't even need miracle. Tell me why. I'm just so scared. I don't want to die. Tell me. People just don't die in labor. Yeah. We chose the wrong hospital for Jane. That was what happened. That doesn't mean you should live the rest of your life without children. But labor is still very painful. Tell me, look, I understand. But the pain is not compared to the joy you feel from a crying baby. Thank you. You will go through it. It's okay.
I dropped my father off at the airport. That wasn't meant to travel. Um, don't worry, don't worry, all right? Enjoy your black boots delicious, all right? When you're done, I'll be downstairs. Hmm? You could have come to my place now. Oh God, I don't like putting you in trouble. But you know I couldn't make it to your place. Someone needs to pick gifts in school. You need to go now. You need to go now. I'll just go out there. to believe his arrogant son or his beautiful wife besides you have no proof <laughs> you amuse me woman you actually thought I was gonna confront my dad with empty words you lie bear out your meanings okay for 20 to 30 minutes, I was standing by that door, but you just didn't notice. Oops, I understand. You were carried away with whatever it is you were doing, but unfortunately, I was standing there with my friend, and guess what? Every damn thing you were doing was recorded right here in this phone. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> I got you. I see. You know, your dad told me how annoying you can be. And I pleaded and begged for your return. My mistakes. You don't deserve to be here. But I'm here now. I'm here now, that's all that matters, young woman. I don't have time to alter words with you. I give you two days. You heard me? Two days and I shall have a word with my father. Jake? 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 This is not acceptable. Totally unacceptable. And if Father hears about this, you are messed up. How, how could you, woman to woman? Ah, ah. This thing is not in our family. Me, I don't know where you went to learn it from. Even God detests this kind of thing. God can destroy a marriage because of same-sex indulgence. That is why he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, because of this same thing you are doing. Tammy, Tammy, you don't understand. You don't. Look, I thought this was better than going for another man. Besides, Chief, Chief is not trying. Chief hasn't touched me for four years now. Eh? And you think what you are doing is not adultery? Eh? Once you allow 
yourself sexual pleasure with a fourth party, be it man or woman, it is adultery. In fact, and there is punishment for it. Your own is even double punishment because it's um, um, adultery and uh, homosexuality. Uh -uh. Where did you even learn it from? This thing is not in our family. What do we do now? How can you be asking her that kind of question? The girl has to do what she has to do. The guy is blackmailing her. It's between the devil and the Red Sea right now. My dear, you make up your mind if you want to have fun or consider losing your marriage because I know Chief will not falter in throwing her things out of the house when James tells him. And Daddy will throw you back at him. His commandment is once you get married, you stay there. You carry your cross to the end. No going back. Do you want to listen to her? She's not the right person to give you advice concerning this kind of situation. Would you, would you rather sleep with father and son? Your stepson. Your own stepson. That is total abomination. Abomination is when a man marries a beautiful woman like this. Look at my sister. And he doesn't touch her. Is she a piece of furniture? Eh? Is she a piece of furniture? Even the Bible you're talking about, God killed Onan for having improper sex. My dear, have fun, okay? This whole thing is not a joke. This is not, she, you should not listen to her. It's not a joke. The best thing to do right now, if your husband comes back, if Chief comes back, go on your knee, beg him, apologize and confess your sins. Oh, you guys are just turning my case into arguments. Look, I need help. No, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you useful advice here. Tammy hasn't said anything useful. Ah, wait, I'm only asking her to choose between acid and alcohol. You are giving her acid to drink. Don't listen to her. Do what is right. If you want to keep your home, do what is right. Apple, confess your sins to your husband. Don't do this thing, oh. Don't go and sleep with father, father and be sleeping with son. Tammy, I'm scared. I am scared. Look, have you forgotten what happened the last time I told Chief that I gave a man my number? He sent me packing and trust that now, calling me all sorts of names. He even gave me the last warning. I feel like killing myself mm -hmm. now. I feel like killing myself. Mm -hmm. Now you are talking. That is the best option to kill yourself because that is what Tammy wants you to do. Naomi, I'm your sister. If I don't tell you the truth, nobody will tell you. Don't listen to what um, Irene is saying. Cause um, your girlfriend, your lesbian partner. <laughs> what's her stupid name? What's that her name again? Freda. So Freda, mm -hmm. Freda, or whatever her name is. Give her money. Tell her to go far away from you. She should not come close to you. Let her just go. Pay her money for, for the future. Whatever times you guys want to spend together. Pay her for let her go far away from you. That's that, the best thing to do. That sounds like hope. Use your, use your tongue to count your teeth. Hmm. I even I enjoy the thought of a woman. Baby, please take this. No. Please, take it. Please. I, I can't take it. I beg you, please. No. Please, just take it, please. I beg you, please. Okay? This isn't fair. Naomi, this is unfair. Mm. I gave you my heart. I gave you my everything. I told people to back off because of you. It's barely a few months. few months, Naomi. Sweetie, I understand. Trust me, I understand. And I am so sorry. I am very, very sorry. Okay? Look, you are a beautiful woman. I believe someone will come for you in no time. Try and give yourself a man. Some men may not value you. But some will value and cherish you. And trust me, sweetie, when you see a man, a real man that loves you, you will forget about this substitute. No. No. I love you. It is you I love. Please come back. Please. I need you back in my life. We can hide in two stops. We cannot hide enough. Understand me? We cannot hide enough. Can't you see? My marriage is my pride. And as you can see, it's already at stake. Please. I need you to let me go. And you know I would do this for you if I was in your shoe. Please. Okay. It's okay. But just know that you have a friend in me. You can call on me anytime, any oh, day. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Chief, let's watch something else now. This is boring. Oh, let us see what is going on in the world. Let's, let's see. There's something I need to discuss with you. What is it? Sir, speak to your father. Um, <laughs> it's about Naomi. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dad, I, I don't know how this will sound, but I just, I just have to say it, you know. That Naomi has been stressing herself of late. I mean, the stress is becoming too much. Okay, for example, yesterday, she cleaned up the entire house, starting from upstairs, downstairs, including the balcony. This work is becoming too much. Uh, I'm thinking it's about that time we, we hire a, a housemate. So, so the, the workload will be less. Hmm. I've talked about that already, but Naomi refuses a maid. You don't worry. Your dance, uh, Winnie, will be coming back home from school very soon. Uh, so Naomi will no longer do all the job alone. Okay? Okay, uh, that's all right, Dad. Uh, I was I was concerned and showing my care. Oh, thank you for your concern, son. <laughs> Good son. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He cares. <laughs> he does. Gotten what you wanted. Can I have the videos and pictures so that I can destroy them? <laughs> Look at you. Don't tell me you believe all those cock and bull stories about videos and pictures because I did not. You heard me. I did no pictures, no videos. Hey, hey you, you, see, if you don't give me those pictures and videos now, I will do what you will not like. Anymore. Give them to me now! You are yelling at your new boo, baby. Take a good look at me. You're talking to me. Okay. Have you forgotten the other day at the living room you wanted to take pictures of your daughter? And I said my phone was back to town. How am I supposed to take a picture or a video? Hmm? <laughs> oh my god, my god. I got you on that one. Hmm? I know you hate me right now. I know you feel like strangling me, killing me and all of that, but what would you have me do? I like you a lot. I couldn't keep it to myself. I need to show it. What are you doing with my dad? He's old. All right, you need a fresh- Oh, you shut up! That's kind of sexy, you know? <laughs> I hate- I hate you! I, I hate you! But I love you. 
I love you. <laughs>I approve, but falling in love, you're on your own. I don't know if it's love yet, but I think I feel something. See, lose that feeling, okay? That is common sense leaving you. Look, Irene, I don't even know what is wrong with me. Irene, I don't sleep well. I can't even concentrate. He is everywhere in my head. I know he's a crazy guy, but trust me, he's so romantic. touched my soft spot. Wait, 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 now, now me wait. Do you want to actually continue sleeping with your son? Not my son. Stepson, please. Whatever, it just sounds disgusting. I just drop in my mouth. And if you don't throw up, that food will still kill you. You think everything is all about jokes? I just asked you to help me. Help me. How did you know I was eating? <laughs> all right, seriously. Let's be serious. I have one advice for you. That is, develop hatred for this guy. Yeah, pick up a fight, whatever. Just do something. Just try and distract yourself. No, uh -huh, no deal. Uh, however, it's, it just sounds disgusting. Can we change topic? Don't even talk about this. It's not even a topic to talk about. I don't know. I'm like, I'm a job. No, it irritates my body. Yeah, for the meantime, make use of your.
a dildo. Mm. Mm. Watch a porn. Entertain yourself. <laughs> I'm giving you a sisterly advice. Oh. <laughs>
Dad, you're weak. Uh, what's the matter? Did you see Naomi? I mean, did you see her drive out? She's nowhere to be found. Oh, really? Uh, I, I thought she said she'll be staying late night with her, with her sister. Have, have you checked the garage if her car is back there? No. All right. Let me check. Uh, sorry. It's, it's, it's okay, Dad. Don't cut your sleep, my son. It's okay, Dad. You just try and catch some sleep. She'll be all right. All right. All right, good night, Dad. Garden chief, I didn't want to wake you up, but I saw you going towards the garage and I thought you forgot something in the car. Go to bed, chief. Why do people fall in love? Never look like they could never break your heart.
How is your day going? Fine, thank you. This is... Hmm. <laughs> That's mine, you know? Hmm. This thing is big. Wow. What if I poison that food? Man, you take a lot of risks. Knowing that a woman has your life at a single meal, yet you mess with her heart. I'm not going to kill you. I will just help you deal with your problems. At least that's what strong women do. You can go on and eat. I will not kill my husband because of a side chick.
the paper fall in love oh. It never looked like they could ever break your heart oh. Why do people fall in love oh. It never looked like they could ever break your heart Oh